Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learning Information Technology with Teacher Stone. I want to thank you for subscribing to this channel and I'm asking that you continue to share this channel. So anyone who is doing CSEC Information Technology or anyone who has an interest in information technology should subscribe to this channel. All right, in this video, I want to look at the CSEC syllabus for information technology. And there's a few things that I want to focus on. I want to look at the topics that are covered in the CSEC syllabus. I also want to look at the structure of the examination. And I want to focus a bit on the school-based assessment, the SBA. So let's go to the first task at hand, the topics that are covered on the syllabus. So let's scroll down here. All right. So in section one, we look at computer fundamentals and information processing. In section two, we look at computer networks and web technologies. In section three, we look at social and economic impact of information and communications technology. Section four, we look at word processing and web page design. Section five looks at spreadsheets. Section six looks at database management. Section seven focuses on problem solving and program design. And section eight looks at program implementation. So this syllabus has three big parts. The theory, which is covered in sections one, two, and three. Productivity tools, which covers sections four, five, and six. And then problem solving and program implementation, which is sections seven, and eight. All right. So let us now move to the format of the SBA. Sorry, the, the structure of the examination. All right. So there are three papers, basically. There is paper one, which is the multiple choice paper. This paper consists of 60 questions, 35 items coming from sections one, two, and three, which is the theory section. Then there are 15 items coming from section four, five, and six, which is the productivity tool section. And then there are 10 items coming from sections seven and eight. That's the problem solving and program implementation section. Now, each candidate has an hour and 15 minutes to complete this paper. Paper two, which is the structured paper, it has four compulsory structured questions that are taken from all areas of the syllabus. But the marks are allocated based on the sections. So for the theory profile, which is sections one, two, and three, it is worth 35 marks. For the productivity tool, which is sections four, five, and six, it, were, it is worth 30 marks and 25 marks for the problem solving and programming section. Now, each candidate has two hours to complete this paper. Paper three, the school-based assessment. Now, this section of the syllabus, this is the best part because each candidate has a lot of help in this area. You have your teacher to guide you and you can collaborate with your peers. Now the SBA is a practical project that tests sections four, five, six, and seven, also eight. So it looks at word processing, web page design, spreadsheet, database management, problem solving and program design, and program implementation. Now this project 
carries 50 marks, so it accounts for 25% of the final grade. 10 for word processing, 5 for web page design, 10 for spreadsheet, 10 for database management, and 15 for problem solving. All right, so let us look at the SBA itself. Now, in this syllabus, there is a sample SBA. Let me find that. So the sample SBA, it basically guides us on what the SBA itself looks like. And we can work through it so as to get an understanding when your teacher provides you with a question. So this is the sample SBA. And we can look at the description of this project. We see here that this project focuses on a national general, general election. And we look at the parts. So there's the spreadsheet section. If we go down, we will see that the next section is the database section. And then we have the word processing section, followed by the web page design, followed by problem solving, and it concludes with program implementation. So let us go back up to the first section, which is the spreadsheet section in this question. In this section, we are going to be using worksheets, formulas, and functions. And we are also going to be creating charts and pivot tables, right? In the database section, we're going to be creating tables, populating tables. In populating, we'll be required to import some data from the spreadsheet section that was previously completed. And then we're going to use queries to generate specific data that we need. We're going to be displaying some data in the report. And we're also going to be doing a form. For the word processing section, we are going to be creating a form as well. So we're going to do a nomination form. So it's a fillable form that we're going to be creating here. And we're going to be including logo and all of that. So you can get creative in your logo design. And then the second part of the word processing is where we're going to be doing a mail merge. So we're going to be doing a letter and all the requirements are outlined here. Then we go to web page design. Now in this section, we don't have to do web page design by using HTML. There are suggested tools that we can use to do the web page design. And CXC suggests that we use free online web services such as Wix.com, Webnode.com, or Weebly.com. All right. It even suggests Google Sites as well. All right. So nothing hard you earn your marks quite easily there. Just be creative, all right? And provide the information that is required. That's the most important part. When we go down to the problem solving section, in this section, we are required to develop the algorithm and to do a trace table, all right? And then the program implementation section is where we develop the problem statement for the algorithm that was created in the problem solving section of here. And then we use the programming language, Haskell, to write the code to implement the algorithm that we did in the problem solving section. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be working through this sample SBA in the CSEC syllabus. I would love for you to have a copy of it so that you can read through. And I would love for you to follow me as we work through the section. So in the 
descriptions below, I'm going to provide a link that allows you to access the sample SBA question along with the mark scheme for the CTEC information technology. All right. Also, I'm going to be doing a video for each section. That means that I'm going to be doing a video for the spreadsheet section, the database section, the word processing section, the web page design, and the problem solving and program implementation. All right. We are going to look at these sections. You are going to be able to ask questions. So you can send me a message at lit with teacherstone at gmail.com or you can head over to my Instagram page, lit, L-I-T, with Teacher Stone, and send me a DM there as well, all right? So I'm looking forward to going through the SBA with you. And also, once that is completed, I'm also going to be dropping some videos where we're going to be focusing on the theory section as well. The aim is that I want to help you to do well at this subject. I know that many of you think the subject is difficult. It's not. Everything takes practice, some determination, and of course, a little help goes a very long way, and that's what I'm here for. So once again, I'm asking you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to head over to YouTube, my channel again, Learning Information Technology with Teacher Stone. I want you to Look at the video that was placed there before. Leave, drop a comment there. Drop a like. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you don't miss when I drop a new video there. All right. Thanks again for watching.